Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn and Champagne. This is season four, episode seven. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got a special guest with us today. Yes, we do. We have my brother Joseph Gray Joseph! in the house. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so we excited. We are so excited yes. to have you here. Yeah, y'all, yes. y'all have come a long way. Oh right? my God. Let me tell you something. Let me, <laughs> let me talk about it. Let me talk about it. If, yeah. if you guys went to our show that we had at Analog, right? Yes. And we had this beautiful reel that talked about how we got started. It was tragic. Yeah, yeah. It was tragic. It was. And Tiffany would call Joseph all the time and ask him, hey, can we do this? What do you think about this? What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. And he guided us. He was with us from day one. And I'm so and happy. And still rise with yes, us. Yes, and I'm so sure. happy you're here. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. And thank you for um, our special guest, yes. which yes. was Joseph Lex Gillette and um jerome, jerome avery yes. from sight school yes um you guys tune into that interview it was amazing it and was. we're just so proud of very you guys. inspirational you. yes very inspirational yes yeah so we want to also give a shout out to our sponsors Colonels, yes. which we'll do that later in the show as mm -hmm. well but make sure you check out the tony and tiff mix mm -hmm. and also yes wherever you get your podcast check us out that's right so Tony, yes, darling, you just celebrated a birthday. Oh, oh yes. my gosh! Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I didn't know you were gonna say yes. that. Yes, happy yes. birthday! I am on the road to fifty. I know. I'm so I'm excited 49. for you. Thank I'm so you. excited for you. Thank you. So you have to tell me all about it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to let me know what I'm just gonna expect. Tell me about it's it. It's all the same. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So thank you so much. And yes. thank you for my wonderful cupcakes. You wonderful. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So now it's time for infotainment. Ugh. Taylor Swift attends mm. the Kansas City Chiefs game to cheer on Travis, our man Kelsey. Honey, what y'all got to say about this? I'm gonna say this. <laughs> it don't make sense how my Instagram feed has turned from <laughs> just you know game highlights to. <gasps> People showing videos of her being snuck through the through the arena in a popcorn machine. Yeah. I sent you the video of them like leaving the game in yes, a drop top. Yes. I was yes. like, I'm I'm already. And I, I don't like it. I'm yeah. just gonna say it. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. I think it's a publicity stunt. I think Travis has too much swag for her. Well, you know, this is dating out of his element. It's, I mean, he's uh, element. He's yeah. normally with us. Yes. yes. Um, yes. You know, and so she was up there cheering him on. She was sitting next to well, the mama. mother. And uh, you, you go to the suite and you sit on the front row, right? Mm -hmm. Then someone says that they gave her a list of all the different plays and how many people are on the field oh, wow. and who to cheer for and how to cheer and when this happens this was posted yeah i don't like it yeah, yeah. i don't like it i think it's a publicity stunt i think yeah. travis i think he's got himself into something mm -hmm. now yeah and yeah. then what's crazy is right now on social media on TikTok, what's going on now is that they've got this thing going where they're saying that man taylor swift has made travis oh, kelsey yeah. famous and everybody's like no he's been famous already i mean yeah. Super he's, Bowl, the Super best, Super Bowl to, Bowl he's only the best tight end yeah, yeah in nfl history I mean, right he, now totally yeah, he seriously got, he got a brother who won a super bowl absolutely I mean, yeah. absolutely yeah. but i must say you know his jersey sales have gone up 400 percent um the jets game that's coming up the tickets are going and out of the taylor's hole. gonna be there um yeah. yeah and these fans are the swifties brutal swifties. the swifties they're brutal yeah, yeah. and i and I, I know some swifties okay and oh. they 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 serious about her and, but it's funny because they, you know, they all, they loving Travis Kelsey right now. Yeah. But when this thing. Oh, yeah, they're going to hate him. Oh, they're going to hate him. Yeah, because he's yeah. going to break her heart. He needs yeah. to. Well, I don't know about no, that. No, no, he's going to break her heart. He can, she come, might break his heart. No, yeah. no. Nope. But first of all, nope. they might go their nope. mutual ways because, honey, I don't feed into this. I, I, I like you I said. Agree. It's a publicity stunt. They're okay. They're not in love. I get it. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be fine. Yeah. I mean, you know, but his podcast, you know, they. they, they it's the number one podcast behind Popcorn. Champagne. Well, <laughs> well, they tuned in to hear the whole, you know, they yeah. wanted to hear from Travis and, you know, and they went in 30 minutes before they even talked about anything sports related. 
So yeah. it was just Travis. Listen, Travis, stop. <laughs> that's not your ski low. Yeah. That's say, not your thing. And I'm that's say, not your thing. Travis Kelsey, that's a wild boy, right? It is. He's wild. I'm telling you, that, that, boy, that boy. Love that, that boy can too. party. And yeah, he can. I don't think Taylor Swift. He can for come that. to the cookout. Yeah, oh, he gets invited to the cookout. He gets invited yeah. to the cookout. I want him to grow that facial hair back. Though. I want him to grow the facial yeah. hair yeah. back yeah. so bad. I don't like the. I, I don't like the, the Chester molester. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like that. that's what it is. Yeah, he looks very. Like no, he looks yeah. really creepy. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't, like, I don't it. like it. But he's fine as frog hair, honey. Yes, so. I agree. I agree. Okay, next we got Deion Sanders, Ooh, our this man. Yo, boy, this is our dude, but this is your guy. Yeah, this is my guy. So we wanted to talk about how um, before the um, Oregon game, he hugs Phil Knight. So this is a major... I don't think people realize how how significant that is. You yeah. know, Dion, you know, Jordan helped put Nike where it was. Yeah. Dion helped carry that, carry the torch for them. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I don't think people realize, you know, when Dion was with Nike, him and Phil Knight never had one-on-ones. That's right. They connected through their through their people. Mm -hmm. You know, and Dion's shoe was revolutionary. To, you know, that that shoe to be, it was designed to be a ba uh, yeah. a baseball and a football shoe. Yeah. And I mean that thing sold like hotcakes. But for him and and Prime to meet when they did, it's significant because Phil Knight being an alumnus of Oregon, of Oregon mm -hmm. and, and what he does financially for that school. Yeah. But to to make the effort to go hug Prime. And people need to go watch his son's YouTube channel because Phil Knight told Prime, "Hey, I, we 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 need to sit down. Right. Like we gotta we gotta talk. Mm -hmm. Squash the beef. Squash the yeah. beef. Right. All of that. Because yeah. Colorado is a Nike school. Is a Nike. Yeah. He school. could not get around that. No yeah. Under no. Armour. Uh -uh. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. um, but that was a huge moment on the field. That was huge because the people at Under Armour they love Deion Sanders. Absolutely. Deion, yeah. it really and truly, Deion, The Rock, and Steph Curry they saved Under Armour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for Prime to to have to step away from yeah, that yeah. and then go to Nike, yeah. it's about to be some some exclusive stuff happening. I mean, Dion's son went online and bought a rare pair of his shoes. Yeah. And Phil Knight looked and saw that, that blew his mind that his yeah. son had those on. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, it's about to be some big thing. I'm a, I would wait in line for his shoes to come back out. Mm. Oh no, it's gonna be huge. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely yeah. is. But you know, shout out to Deion Sanders. I Once love again. everything yes. about all of this that's going on right now mm -hmm. with the football and him mm -hmm. in Colorado. I love the fact, you know, it's on television at Fox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the ratings are Oh, it's through the roof. roof. Everything, De it's a Dion effect, mm -hmm. right? You've got yeah. the school, the merchandise is selling. Mm -hmm. The Dion effect, yeah. you cannot deny it. And there's so many people that want him to fail. Yeah, and he's, he's trademarking everything. Everything. And so, you we know. We coming. We coming. We coming. And, and I ain't hard thing, to find. I find. I find a little disturbing, though, is these coaches in the pregame, you uh, know, just psh. saying all these horrible things about yeah. Dion. Yeah. And Dion says nothing, Yeah. right? Yeah. And they're only adding fuel to the fire yep. and making him richer by the minute. Yep. That is very true. You that's know what I'm saying? That's very true. And and so yeah, okay. When he was at Jackson State, his first year was not successful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he is building a powerhouse. I I believe. Oh yeah, most definitely. Most sure. definitely. I think the big thing though with that Oregon game, I think people kind of knew. I mean, Oregon was putting up 50 on people. So. Yes. I mean, you know, an going, average of fifty. An points. average of, of well, 50. after this is gonna after we're gonna air like after the the USC game. Yeah, but yeah. USC is right. is better than Oregon. Yeah, yeah. So there could be a little bit. There more, could be some things, but, but you never know what. You but I'm know. tuning in. I'm definitely. I'm gonna listen in the car. But the, 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 <laughs> but the thing about the Oregon coach was, you know, for him to say what he said clicks. about clicks. Yeah. And then in the in the the, the post game, he tried to act like he didn't know the cameras were in there. Yeah. Oh, dude. And, oh, no. and, and, and my 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 issue with Come that on. is that he inherited an Oregon program. Yeah. That was amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's right. He, yeah. he didn't build that. That's right. Prime is building a Colorado program. That's right. One in eleven. They already three times better than they were last Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Yeah. And he I feel like he wouldn't have done that to Nick Saban. No. 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 You know no what way. I'm saying? Absolutely. And that's what I'm saying. It's evident and clear and boldly yeah. clear yeah. what yeah. these men are doing to yeah. Dion. That's he, right. He Be quiet. A, he turned to see you into an HBCU. There it is. I mean, he had Master P, Lil Wayne, yeah. all and these dude, people on the sideline. Let me tell you something. This weekend, allegedly, it could be like some even bigger stars. Oh, like yeah. Jay-Z. Could yeah. be Beyonce. No, they yeah. coming. That's coming. Yeah. They're coming. Yeah, I yeah. love all of this. Yeah. I love the Dion effect. I'm here for it. Yeah. Every bit of it. Yeah. Every bit of it. All right. So, now it's time for Reality Show Recap. Yes. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> the Kardashians are season back. four oh, has started Hulu. back. Hulu has started <laughs> back. Um, this was good. I, I dig it. I, I was digging so, this one. So, so good. Okay, Tiff, let me ask you this. I think Courtney's done. So, it started out the gate with Courtney and Kim having a conversation yes. to piggyback from season three. Yes, with the Milan thing. Yes. Yes. And the Dolce thing. And so, um, Courtney really didn't hold back. She had looked at all the edits mm -hmm. from um, the past season and was like, oh, this is what you really think of me. And, you know, she didn't hear all the conversations that had been had. And she's having this conversation with Kim. Yeah. That's how season four opens Starts. up. Yeah. And um, it's really hurtful, the things that they were saying to one well, another. Well, I kind of feel like Kim was really trying to extend the olive branch. Yeah. I really did. I yeah. really felt like Kim was coming from a good place. I felt like her intentions were really pure. I really do. But Courtney, as you listen to the conversation, mm -hmm. she made herself mad. She kept making herself mad and angry. And then I think words have power. Absolutely. And when you definitely. say... You're such a witch, and I hate you. Yeah. Yeah. You can't say that. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I think you. she's. I think she's tired. I think she's done. Yeah. I and, mean, and I, I think really she want thinks, her to be. I, I do. I think that she thinks the life that they live is very pretentious. I think it's, she thinks it's shallow. I got what she said when she was like, "It wasn't about the clothes, Kim." Because Kim was on that clothes mm -hmm. thing about her wedding and everything. Yeah. She said, "It's how you, you treated me." during my wedding. I didn't feel like you were happy for me. If it's not about you, I it, it, got what she I was got saying. what she was saying about that. But I don't think I think Kim was really happy for her. Yeah, but I she did. didn't express it in a way. Yeah, I didn't think she was. You know, was I just think that those two right there grew up together really close, yeah. right? 18 months apart. 18 months apart. Not 15 years. And <laughs> and and so so yeah, I just think that there's a lot of like bad history with the with the two of them i think that this has been going on for i think courtney's jealous of, of kim i don't think that i do i get that no. from her because um kim has really driven she wanted to be famous she has said it yeah time and time again yeah. she has been famous she gets all this attention she's absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. i think courtney would like to have that but i don't think courtney has the same personality to sustain it to do what court what what kim does mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i don't mm -hmm. think she can handle it as well as kim does but i honestly i'm not on team kim at all mm -hmm. but i kind of think kim was really on this conversation she really was trying to squash it no i, I believe really feel that. like she For was sure. trying to come from a good place i think both what they were saying were true about each other yeah i mean they I also got into do. a fight before Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. did. Yeah. Well, she slapped the, yeah. slapped the mess she, out of them. She slapped the mess out of them. That was did. a mess. But yeah. at the end of the day, they're family. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They'll get it right. And, um, I want them to get that right. Yeah. But honestly, I wouldn't care if, if Courtney is not on the show. She's boring to me. I don't care anything <laughs> about, you know, and she's like me and Travis yeah. have, like, I don't care anything Well, you know they that. want their own show. Yeah. Like, I they want to disassociate I, I, go, totally. Go, yeah. Please go. And now she's pregnant. It. It's, it's on yeah. a whole nother level. And now. then, you know, she was in the hospital. Yeah. They had some kind of emergency. They did. But they won't say what it was, mm -hmm. right? So, anyway. Yeah, they, they actually did a, a surgery on the baby inside of her womb. Wow. Yeah, but okay. it's all good now. But, okay. um... Yeah, I want them to, to oh, Jesus, excuse us, y'all. Sparty's scratching right now. Yeah, we got to get it out. Yeah, yeah get it out. Yeah. But anyway, I think it's going to be a great yeah, season. Yeah, that premiered September 28th, the day that a legend was born. Yes. Uh, on Hulu. <laughs> Hulu. So next is the documentary recap. Yes, Kelsey, sports documentary on Amazon Prime pre uh, premiered on September 12th. We love this. Um, it is focusing on Jason Kelsey. Loved everybody. Um, and it follows him throughout his final, well, it wasn't his final year, but yeah. in the NFL um, 2022 season. Um, and it led up to him and Travis in the Super Bowl and just his family life. And I am truly a fan of his. Big like, time. I just think he's Big adorable time. teddy yeah. bear. I do. I agree. Um, I do. And um, what I loved at the end, and I, and I think I talked about this, was just. You know, and Tony and I have talked about this on other things uh, regarding football. Mm -hmm. Is just the 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 thirst that they have for it, mm -hmm. and when they know it's time to retire, it's so hard to let it go. Mm -hmm. Because where are you gonna get that? Where are you gonna get those checks on Tuesday? 
But the fame, the glory, the <laughs> rush. I know I get it. Yeah. But those checks on Tuesday. Yeah, when checks they on get Tuesday. paid on Tuesday. Well, I mean, he got a nice pension set up. Yeah, so. I mean, he does. Yeah. I love this documentary because yeah. it showed, like, his body. How he's broken all these different bones. Mm -hmm. How, like, you know, the love of the game. Mm -hmm. You want to show up on Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. You want to continue to do it. But do you let it go? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you let it go when you're at the height of your career? Mm -hmm. You know, he's a center. Yeah. You know, a center. He's 35 so, yeah. years old. And, and, you know, you think about, you travel a lot. You, you're missing a lot of things with your small children mm -hmm. that you have. So that's one thing. His body, I mean, when he went through the list of all the things yeah. about his oh, body man. being broken, it's like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But what I loved about this mm -hmm. is the love that they have for each other. Oh, him yeah. and Travis, oh, yeah. that they have for each other. I even loved his home life. Like, his yeah. wife yeah. is a warrior to me. I like Wyatt. Yes. yes. She's like, Mom, I got to dance. Yes. I got to sing. Yes. Like, I got to do all of that. Yes. He has sweet kids. But he was even saying, like, I'm the best dad and all of that. Yeah. But it's still not enough. Not but, right now. But yeah. did you see the time when he, when the kids were you playing with your kids? He's mm -hmm. trying to be a present and he's yeah. dad. Hurt. And he's yeah. hurt. Yeah. He's got needles. Yes. Acupuncture. Acupuncture. And, and yeah. you have to tell a three and a two-year-old, let dad take a break. They don't yeah. understand that. No. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I, I, I love why it said what, what was funny to me the, the, the youngest she said Uncle Travi lost yeah. Yeah. she said no dad you lost yeah. Yeah. you lost yeah. Uncle Travi lost yes. I didn't want Uncle Travi to win she was so cute she's adorable yes. she's adorable that is a champagne moment yes. I love yes, that yes, one it's yes, a yes. great documentary I agree hey guys this segment is brought to you by our amazing sponsor make sure you go to colonelsnashville.com to get the Tony and Tiff mix where you can get 10% off if you use the code TTMix yes and make sure you get some of that sweet heat and frost which one are you? I'm sweetie today. I'm frosty, I guess. <laughs> now it's time for drama recap. Mm, Power Book 5, Force on Stars is back for season two. It premiered on September 1st and our favorite villain, Tommy, Tommy is back and getting the drug deal done his way, honey. <laughs> when I tell you, so now we have the CBI is split. So Jannard and Diamond are on two different mm -hmm. sides of the fence now. And it's a huge war going on. So you got the Serbs, you got the Mexicans, Mexican cartel. Like, it's just a mess right Flip now. family. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you watch this, Joseph? That's I your do. jam? That, yeah. That, yeah. That nephew, he drives me crazy. D-Mac? Yeah, D-Mac. He, mm -hmm. he don't listen. He doesn't. Mm. No. And then he ended up killing a cop. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, the dynamic between what I love is Kate, the mom, mm -hmm. who has given up the drugs... Yep. Trying she's to make now. amends, yes. okay, mm -hmm. um, and she's trying to atone. Yep, mm -hmm. uh, to Tommy and her other son, which is hilarious because she'll say, "Okay, Tommy, I want to talk to you about something." And they're like, "Oh, this is gonna be good." Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Tommy sits back and she says, "I'm sorry," and he said, "That's yeah, it. That's it. That's all you got." Yeah. yeah. So it just bless a little heart because mm -hmm. she was just a young girl when she when she had uh, Tommy. Well, actually, both of them. Both of them. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of my favorite series. For well, sure. I mean, you know, for me, I stopped watching it after the first season a few episodes because it was slow. I don't like Tiffany does like the developmental stage. Yeah. I want it already developed. So for me, I got to go back and catch up. <laughs> it's, I hard go to, back it's hard to watch a show without the development. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I get it. <laughs> I want it to be developed. So I had to stop, but I'll go back and pick it up. Yeah, I it's it's it developing. It's a champagne yeah. moment for sure. So next is time for movie recap. Mm -hmm. Sitting in the bar with cake. Sitting in bar with cake. Yes. On Amazon Prime. Yeah. It stars uh, our girl Yara um, from, from Grownish and Blackish. Yeah. And um, it follows two best friends in their twenties navigating through L.A. And it's inspired by true events. Mm -hmm. It's a true story. Mm -hmm. um, it's based on. Um, Two friends and one girl uh, who Yara plays is she's a she's a baker she's amazing and so her girlfriend's like I got an idea why not bake fifty cakes and we'll take them into bars and it's called cake barring yes it's cake barring I loved it yeah I do too yeah. and you can go in and you can meet guys and yeah. you know we'll mm -hmm. take something away from the bar yeah. you know all yeah. of that so it's really cute but her best friend gets diagnosed with brain cancer. <sighs> Um, and Yara continues to bake the cakes and makes it to 50. Um, at her 50th cake, you know, her friend has already died. Yeah. Um, and she made that on her birthday. She mm -hmm. made it on her birthday. Yeah. And, um, it, 
It was cute. It was sweet. I thought it could have been a little Lifetime movie. Yeah. Um, but well, I don't know. I, I loved it. Okay. I did. I loved it. It was very predictable. Yes. You knew what was going to happen. Yeah. I thought it provided a space, though. The space that I found for this one was that a true female friendship. Yes. That's what I got from mm -hmm. that, where you can have like a true female fr friendship yep. where your friend is dying, I'm baking this cake, yep. we created this thing called Cake Barring, mm -hmm. and I'm here for you. Yeah. So that's what I did, I, but it was very predictable. Yeah. But I thought it was really, I thought it was good, mm -hmm. but it was sad. Yeah, it was It was sad. kind of emotional. Yeah. So one minute yeah. you're laughing, one minute you're crying, yeah. you know. Um, I thought the parents of the, the girl that was dying, Corinne. Oh, love that. They them. were hilarious. Oh, my the gosh. mom's voice made me laugh. Oh, my gosh. The dad is constantly trying to fix stuff. Yes. So I thought it was something. But I so thought sweet. it did provide a space of showing female friendship. I agree. Yeah, it reminded me, you know, Margo. Oh, absolutely. But, um, absolutely. I also like Bette Midler. Oh, I know. It was good I to was see so, Bette yes, in there. Yes, it was. Yeah. Anything Yara does, I'm in. Yeah. I'm locked in. I'm plugged in. That girl is one to watch. Yeah. She's one to I watch. I love her. So, sure. it's so funny. I saw the trailer for that and thought the trailer gave everything away, so I didn't watch it. Yeah, it's predictable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, very predictable. Like, yeah, yeah you like, know what's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah. So I didn't but watch for it. the basis of the show, we had yeah. to watch. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> it was good. It yeah. was. It was good. Mm -hmm. So now it's time for what you watching? What you watching? Supermodels documentary on mm. Apple TV premiered Loved on it. September 20th. It's um, we look at the careers of Naomi Campbell, uh, Cindy Crawford. Linda Ev Evangelista, mm -hmm. Christy Turlington. Oh, when I tell y'all, it. it's four episodes. It. Um, it's revealing how they dominated the modeling world. It was really good. It was wonderful. I will say this. There's two things I will say about this. Linda uh, Evangelista. Evangelista. Ev that. Yeah. <laughs> she is so stunningly beautiful. She's gorgeous. Yes, it, she that is. she transforms into, she looks totally different on mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. I love that mm -hmm. about her. Second thing about this, Naomi Campbell, bless her heart, she got a bad rap. Mm. She got a bad, a black model she back got then. a yeah. bad rap because she's with John Casablanca. Yeah. And she, the, everybody thinks that she's so hard and difficult to work with because she had a confrontation with him. Yeah. He labeled her he as did. being the angry black Damn, female. Yeah. And, and for that, I, I hate that for her. And I never knew labeled. that. I never knew that. And either. it explained a lot. Yes, they did. Because of how... I always thought she was I angry. thought she was difficult. Yeah. She was not difficult. Yeah. It was what he was like, what a lot of people do to us. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? But what else I learned about this is that she couldn't get the same fair shot that yeah. the other models did because she was black. That's right. Yeah. Which I, yeah. we... Mm -hmm. That's how we're treated anyway. Mm -hmm. But you can't get on the cover of Vogue, mm. right, where all the others have been on the cover of Vogue. And it took her the longest to get on the cover of Vogue. Yeah. I mean, and that uh, John Casablanca Blanca Cos thing yeah. uh, with Revlon, yeah. like they wanted to offer her pennies. And that's where she was like, no, I'm yeah. not doing that. Yeah, and then she gets labeled as being difficult. Yeah. I didn't like that. Yeah. I didn't like that. Another point I didn't like, I'm going to tell you something. Mm. Now, listen, you can never ever come for Oprah Winfrey. Oprah call us. Because we would like to be on own. But you can't ever come for Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. Cindy Crawford came for Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, she was on Oprah Winfrey's show. Yeah. Right? This mm -hmm. is in the 80s. This is a different time than it is right now. Yeah. And Oprah had her stand up. Stand up. Listen, she didn't say anything bad. That's what a 5'9 body looks like or whatever. Oprah, that was a different time. It was a different it time. It was a yeah. different but time. But I got where they were going with that and kind of showing you how they were looked at as objects. Yeah. By no means. I'm sure and if Oprah saw Absolutely that. Absolutely she say, didn't mean it that hey, way. Yeah. You I know what I mean? Up. Absolutely. Yeah. There's yeah. It was a different time it to your It was, point. yeah. Um and I don't think that made that was made to shine a light bad light on Oprah, but I think to her point, they were objects. Yeah. Yeah, you know. but she sat there as an object. She when did. She was on the Oprah Winfrey show. She didn't say one word. No, she didn't say anything. No. Yeah. Linda, who was married to her agent, <sighs> same thing. And yeah. this guy was disgusting. He was a rapist. Disgusting. And he, it was just awful. Yeah. Um, I thought that um, uh, Christy Turlington, <sighs> stunning, stunning. I mean, Calvin she kind of is still the same. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like she's had a really 
good mm-hmm. life, it mm-hmm. seems. Yeah. And then poor Linda has been so sick oh, and ill gosh. with breast cancer. Yes, and, and then going to the cold sculpting yeah. stuff that she was doing. And yeah. she had a bad experience. Yeah, and with that. Um, Bless her heart. Yeah. You know, um, she to me, I think, was the most stunning looking of them all. Oh, she's cold. Um, with the way she could transform yeah. into anything that androgynous. Any of, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then remember George Michael. So yes. He was going through his thing, and then all the models were on this video. Mm-hmm. They transformed everything. And so that was interesting um, the Freedom video. Yeah. Where he did not want to sing, he did not want to be shown. Because he was going through his own. He thing. said, I wanted someone to lip sync and this put them on the map Mm -hmm. i could not get enough of that video i get it yeah it was fabulous it was was so we highly recommend this champagne moment all day long yeah i love it i love it check it out it's on apple tv so the next one that's on you boo changling on apple tv is horror Mm. (laughs) (laughs) season one premiered on september 8th and it's about apollo and emma's love story Starts out as a fairy tale, but ends up, honey, as a horror story. Um, our guy, um, it stars Lakeith Stanfield, who I absolutely love. Um, but basically, um, he finds himself on an odyssey through New York. Um, he didn't know that it existed. Um, and he's trying to find his wife in the end. But his wife becomes possessed. She goes on a trip to Belize and makes three wishes with a witch. Ooh. And when she gets back um, to the city, uh, she tells uh, Apollo this story. And there's a ribbon, there's a little string that the witch tied onto her wrist. Well, Apollo cuts it, okay? And then the story, the wishes start and, and begin. So they mm. get married, she has a child, she ends up killing the child, she yeah. tortures Apollo. Mm -hmm. He lives through it, but you have to watch it. It's still, I think it's on uh, episode six right now, Mm -hmm. but I love it. I I think it's mystical. The um, writer of this is, is, is an African-American man. He's influenced by Stephen King. Um, He's wrote books on Mm. this, so he's very Mm. accomplished. Mm. So it's a, it's a, if you like horror it this is this is it but it's in a different way it's not yeah. like terrifying mm-hmm. scary yeah. yeah but it's got witches and things like that in it so i liked it there you go <laughs> and i'm still watching it <laughs> that's it oh my gosh that's it that's it that's oh, it man. joe thank you for by. joining us yeah. yeah this is your first like first time other triple co-host I like that. I like that. We I'm had gonna, to have him first, yeah. though. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna we to had to have you first. Yeah, you absolutely. Have absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. had yeah. to have yeah. him yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm so proud of you. This is so dope. Thank you. Yeah. We're proud yeah. of you. Yes, no, definitely thank proud of you. Thank, you. thank you guys so much for joining us. Popcorn Champagne. And make sure you like us on YouTube and Instagram and wherever you get your podcasts. That's right. Popcorn underscore champagne. Yeah, definitely. And make sure you check out the Tony and Tiff mix. Oops, I hit the mic. Sorry, Aaron looked at. Make sure you um, check out the Tony and Tiff mix with Colonel's Popcorn where you get 10% off. Yes. So, Andy, we're still waiting. I know. Chris Jenner, call us. We're supportive of your show. Call us. Yes. We love you all. Bye, guys. Bye. Cheers. Mm -hmm.